Just one day after Tropical Storm Imelda flooded neighborhoods in New Caney, the home of Robin and John Hanna opened to the community. We do the oranges and the watermelons up all the time. They love that while they're working. The donations poured in from churches and families. Dry goods turned her living room into a soup kitchen and food pantry. Neighbors come in and we fill bags with things that they need. Mold kits and cleaning supplies are stacked in the den. Paper towels, toilet paper, feminine products, school supplies. It's all to help folks like local teacher Nisa Bond. About nine o'clock in the morning, the water was already coming in. There was no Pre-warning. And Anna Wagon shoots who nearly drowned trying to get help in the chest deep water. I climbed out of the window and struggled half swimming, half walking because the water was deeper outside. And I got on top of my car and I started screaming for help. As the neighborhood now begins the process of drying up and mucking out. Some didn't even have money to go get food at Taco Bell or anywhere. They turned to the Hannah House for comfort. It is saving us money and time and it's a place for us to see other people who are in the same boat as us to have a connection with. A time to just be and not be in the dirt and grime and everything. And on this night, a special delivery, Papa John's Pizza ordered from Robin's cousin out of state. She has ordered enough food to feed 95 people from Papa John's. The proceeds benefiting the family of fallen deputy Sandeep Dollywall. This is just one of the 1500 meals Robin and her family have served in one week. God spared our home, so we are doing what we can to try to help those that they're working to clean their houses and have no home now. In New Caney, Shelley Childers, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.